Today I'm making some chicken, but not just any kind of chicken. I'm making curry chicken. This is Japanese curry chicken. I'm gonna be using this uh, golden curry sauce mix. This is from a company called s &B. Now, there's different types of Japanese curry that you can buy. This is the brand I just happen to always buy. But uh, you'll find other competitive brands that are similar, but I, I like this one, so it's pretty good. And they make this in mild, medium, and hot. Today we're gonna be making hot. I will tell you, hot isn't really that hot. I mean, I'm not one that likes things burning hot, so if I can handle hot, you might be able to handle hot too. But if you've never done these before, I would suggest start out with medium and then graduate to hot. I think mild's a little too mild. So anyways, get a package of this. And this usually comes two uh, in a pack, two in a pack, and that'll make it easier for you to work with. So what I did is I purchased just one pack of chicken thighs and legs. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut each chicken thigh in half, and I'm gonna cut each chicken leg in half. That'll just make it a little bit easier to fit inside the pot. And I'll show you how simple it is to actually do this. But we're gonna do it not in a standard pot. We're using cast iron, okay? So I'm gonna use a cast iron Dutch oven, and this is made by Lodge Corporation, okay? Lodge Company. And of course it has its own lid too, which is kinda cool. Here's the Lodge logo. <laughs> so cast iron, curry chicken, Japanese curry chicken tonight. And we're also gonna put in some peas and also some potatoes in there. So I'm gonna prep all this and then we'll show you how we do this. Okay, I am going to cut these chickens up and that's very simple to do. Of course, just open up the package, take out the chicken pieces, and cut them up. So and separate the drumstick from the thigh. This is actually a quarter if you think about it. It's not just a thigh, there's some back meat here too. And I'm just gonna cut these in half. So I'm gonna take each one of these and just cut them in half, all right? And I'm just gonna toss them into the cast iron here. And we'll wash them up too, of course, but I'm just gonna cut them first because I think it's a little bit easier just to do it when it's not dripping wet all over the place. We'll take care of the rest of it a little later. I'm just gonna cut each piece cut these in half. And there's different ways you can do this. I tend to just use the, the, use the knife and cut it in half. To me, it's just as easy. Some people use a cleaver. And you can get rid of some of this extra fat from the chicken. It's not necessary to have all that. In fact, you could even remove the skin if you like. Some people like it with the skin, some people don't. But the more you leave the fat on, the more it's just gonna drip in there. So remove those pieces that you won't, don't want. Get rid of all the extra goodies you don't want in there too. And uh, I'll do this too separately. You won't have to watch me do this whole thing. I'm gonna watch these chickens right in the pot. So it's clean. And I'm gonna add some water in here. So we're kind of actually boiling this chicken in here. We're not doing anything other than standard boiling. My hands off. Besides the chicken, we're gonna be using potatoes. So I'm just going to do what everyone typically does and peel these potatoes. Peeling potatoes is probably the least favorite thing to do for me. I don't really have a lot of fun doing this, but it's a necessary evil. Stick it on the heat. And of course, cover it, but leave some open so a steam can escape. All right. We're gonna let this thing run for a good 35 to 40 minutes, but we're going to check on it and stir it every now and then just to make sure everything is cooked properly. Now, what I typically will do 
So I'll add a little bit of salt to this. And that's about it. <laughs> a little bit of salt. Let's just let this thing run. We need to make some rice. So I am using long grain rice today. And um, I just eyeball this. I don't, I don't actually measure how much I need. I know I need about this much inside this pot in order to make it. And the way I do rice, as mainly Asians do, we will wash the rice first. And I'll wash it several times to make sure that the rice comes out clear or relatively clear. You don't want all the starches or whatever is in here to be in, in your rice. You want to take that out. I'll just rinse it several times, make sure the water comes out clear. And uh, my, my buddy Stacy and I were talking about rice cookers uh, in our other, in my other uh, YouTube channel, it's called Jive Guys. If you haven't checked the Jive Guys out, definitely go and check that out. We actually talked about rice cookers and how many rice cookers you need. And you'll hear my explanation of why I have this particular rice cooker. We actually have two, but we really should only have one. But according to Stacy, you need at least three. <laughs> so if you want to hear why he feels he needs three, watch the Jive Guys channel. I'll put a link below so you can actually find that episode quickly. All right, so this is coming out fairly clear. And the way I've always done this, is I put a little bit of water. Now on the Jive Guys channel, I mentioned one inch of water over, but I think that's actually too much. It's about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of water above the rice. So no matter how much rice you put in your pot, put in about a half to three quarters of an inch of water, and that's fine. So I'm gonna put this in this rice cooker. All right, to make rice is about as easy as you're gonna get. All you need to do is turn it on, hit white rice, and I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Yeah, you're good. That's it. Two buttons. Turn it on, tell it what kind of rice you're doing, white rice or brown rice. Wait until it's done, you're ready to go. That's the whole point of rice cookers. You don't have to think about anything. <laughs> and these potatoes here, we're not even gonna put in until that chicken is almost done. We're gonna check on the chicken at this point. And because this is a Dutch oven, this lid is going to be hot. You need a, something to hold some type of oven mitt. And I'm just going to stir this up a little bit so that all the pieces get a chance to boil evenly here. I'm not going to do too much to this. This is actually pretty easy to do. But you do definitely want to be careful not to touch the Dutch oven because that cast iron is going to be hot. It's good enough. Just let that go. All right, after a certain amount of time has gone by, you definitely want to put in the potatoes. And the chicken looks like it's fairly good, but I think we have a little too much, too much water in there. So I'm going to remove some of the water. Okay, I'm going to take the golden curry and remove it from the packaging. Typically in here, you will find two of these packets. So you have two packets and I'm going to use both I'm going to use both packets here. So to do this, I'm just going to peel it open and crack this in quarters. I'm just gonna submerge these in the water here. And just let it sit in there. Okay. 
can also add some of the potatoes now. Oops, that's not good. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's take a look to see the progress here. And it's looking pretty good. It's boiling very well, and the boiling, of course, is what's gonna thicken that sauce. But we do need to add the peas, so we're gonna put some frozen peas in there. Because it is frozen, we will need to stir it a little bit just so that all of the peas are submerged, and that will heat it all up. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but given enough time, this thing's gonna be pretty good. Just have to kind of be a little patient. We'll check on our rice situation too, see how that's doing. And our rice is done. That is finished. Keep it warm while we're waiting for the uh, rest of it to finish. This is our finished product. This is ready to go. I'm just going to lower the flame here. Curry chicken with potatoes and peas with rice. One of the easiest things you can do. You should definitely give this a try. It's not hard to do. Boil up the chicken, maybe about 40 minutes worth. Put in some potatoes, put in some peas, put in the sauce from the packet. That's about it. It's not hard. Let's try this out. Let's see how this is. I'm gonna take a little bit of this uh, chicken thigh here. I'll just use my fork to break it open here. And it looks pretty good. Taste is really good too. Mm. One of my favorite things to make, really. You're gonna find, though a lot of people ask me, you know, how to cook this and how to cook that. Let me give you a hint. I'm not that great of a cook, but I can make some good stuff. And that's because I, I find the easiest things I can make and make it. People think I always do the hardest things, it's not. You take the easiest things you can do and make it. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and definitely hit the bell icon because that'll tell you when new videos come out. Give this a try. Easiest thing you can do, I'm telling you. It is the easiest thing you can do. Talk to you guys next time. Mm, it's pretty good. Very good.